everybody, it's Sam from Kazi and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be discussing uh, the ultimate guide to fleece liners for guinea pigs, which sounds incredibly huge and to be honest, it is. So sit down, get a cup of tea, we're going to be having a little chin wag about fleece liners today. Um, so fleece liners, if you don't know, they are becoming much more popular today with cages, um, so the type of bedding. Um, people could be thinking, well, what are they? What do they do? What are this? What are that? So we have tons of questions that we're going to answer for you. And later on in the video, I'll even be showing you how to wash one. So we'll wash one together. So there's tons of things that we're going to talk like in the whole topic to kind of discuss. So I promise you, if you have a question, it'll be in here. And if it's not, write it in the comments and we'll answer it. But <laughs> for now, let's get started on what are fleece liners? So fleece sliders are a type of bedding. They are um, a different kind. They're a more eco-friendly solution. They are a bit reusable. They are washable. Um, so yeah, that's kind of a different take on normal bedding, so like with shavings and paper bedding and stuff like that. Um, so to be honest, what they're properly made of, what we have here at Cabby, we've got printed ones and normal ones, but we'll just talk about kind of what they're made of. So they have several layers of fabric. There's usually the fleece ones that we have. So we've got fleece on top, soft fleece on top, and soft fleece on the bottom. And inside is a kind of absorbent layer. Um, so they've got different kind of materials or several kind of materials kind of thing on there. So um, because the actual fleece part of it on top doesn't hold moisture, it kind of soaks through and goes into the absorbent layer, which is the trapped part. Um, so, you know, your guinea pigs, obviously, they pee a lot. So whatever happens is when they get kind of absorbed into the middle part, they kind of stay there and they're almost trapped. Um, so the top layer can try and remain dry at all times because as we know, they like to be dry. So uh, obviously here at Cavi, we have either printed ones or normal ones. So you can choose kind of whatever ones you're after. They come in much different colours and fun little things you can get as well to try and match your rooms or eye colours and whatnot. But that's just, that's off topic. <laughs> What we have here at Cavi are padded ones or there are waterproof ones, so two different types. So I'll explain the ones that we have here at Cavi first. So the padded ones, um, like I said before, there's usually the top fleece layer, so soft fleece on top, absorbent layer, and then a bottom one as well. And it's super nice and fleecy and soft. Um, so they're the usual ones that we have. They are um, usually, a, so they're much more easier to wash, like I said, mentioned before, they're a lot easier to clean, and because they're padded on both sides, you could actually probably use them both sides as well, because as we say, there's a middle layer in the middle to be absorbent, and then we have the waterproof ones, which I don't actually have one here to kind of demonstrate with you, but they're usually a fleece top and a waterproof material as well, so that's kind of all. They tend to be a lot thinner than the ones that we have, that more like obviously because they're not really padded. Um, so they're obviously a bit smaller than the ones that we do. Um, sometimes they can be a little bit harder to wash through all the way, obviously because they are waterproof. Uh, sometimes it might not be easy for it to be completely washed and completely like completely clean or thing. Whereas these ones can be cleaned completely thoroughly as well. So, um, and obviously the waterproof one can't be used on both sides like the padded ones can. So there's obviously two different types to go for. It's completely up to you which one that you get. Um, but we go for padded ones here at Cavi. Do fleece liners leak? What about leakage and things like that? So um, padded ones, it's quite uncommon to get some leaks. There could be some small leaks through padded uh, fleece liners. But if you've got the Corox base on the middle, they're waterproof and easy to clean as well. So it's really minor should they leak but it's very uncommon, um, unless your guinea pig is kind of staying in one particular place and peeing in that place, or in places with high traffic and things like that. So what makes a good fleece liner? So there's three main components to this question. We have number one, which is it will act as a good bedding, so it will keep your guinea pigs dry. That's kind of the most important one, really. We have number two, and it's important to keep your guinea pigs comfortable. And number three, it's easy to maintain, it's easily washed, meaning it's much more durable as well. So a good bedding is durable and will last you ages. Why are fleece liners the best option? So we have actually seven main things here because we love fleece liners over here at Cavi. So there are seven reasons why we love fleece liners and why we think they're the best options. So number one, they are money saving. So traditional bedding, so maybe wood shavings or paper bedding and things like that, typically could cost you difference between 400 and 500 pounds more a year than having fleece liners. So they're much more money 
uh, saving. There is more details on that kind of statistics and things on our website. So have a look on our blog for that one. Uh, number two, we have that they're easier to clean and that they're not as messy. So um, we do have a video later on of kind of about cleaning your CNC cage with fleece liners, but essentially it's just to kind of remove the things that are on top, put them onto the Corox, clean it up, wash them, get a new one, replace it, done. It's also when kind of everyday situations where guinea pigs aren't walking around and kicking any wood shavings out or anything. So it is just the fleece liner making it much more easier to clean and kind of have an everyday life. Number three, it's so comfortable and it's so, so soft. So your guinea pigs really, really love them as well. Um, if you think, if even you're like, oh my God, I could use that as a blanket. Think of how happy your guinea pigs are. So that's the main three. And I think I love that one. That's like the third one's my one because I want one for myself. So <laughs> and we have number four, they are eco-friendly um, because they are reusable. Um, that makes them eco-friendlier. So they just kind of have them washed. Uh, there are some recycled wood shavings and paper things you can use already, um, but we really do believe that fleece liners are the most eco-friendly solution or one of the most eco-friendly solutions. Um, so they're definitely one to go for if you're a bit eco-conscious. Number five, they are hypoallergenic. I can't say that word. Hypoallergenic. Hypoallergy. There's no allergies. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say that word, but there's no allergies, meaning there's no dust kept in, there's no dust particles being put up in the air that your guinea pigs or yourself can breathe. So they're good for that kind of thing. I'm hoping she's going to try and cut out that word, but <laughs> she'll probably leave them in. <laughs> but there's no dust particles to upset your guinea pig or anything like that. I might have, make them have allergies or anything. And um, we have number six, um, long haired guinea pigs. I don't know whether you can see ours right now because they're sleeping, but long haired guinea pigs like we have here, um, they so sometimes in paper bedding or wood shavings can get it caught up in their hair and get very knotted and tangled. Um, we don't have that with fleece liners because they're just one layer that's just really soft and comfortable just to kind of roll around on. So there's nothing tangled or knotted in their hairs. And number seven, they're fun and colourful. Whether you want to add a bit of splash of colour to your room or whether you just kind of want to have something that does go with your room, there's tons of different colours and patterns and maybe like solid colours that you can use um, in your room to either kind of decorate however you want it. So it can kind of trigger a bit of creativity there for you as well. So they're the seven main reasons that we absolutely love fleece liners, but you'll have to let us know if you're using fleece liners and how much you love them too and why. So don't forget to let us know for that one. How often do I need to change my fleece liners? So this is actually kind of depending on many different factors, but the two kind of main ones that we say is how many guinea pigs do you have and in what cage? So a kind of cage to guinea pig ratio and their habits. So do they pee in one particular spot or do they pee quite sporadically? Um, so they're the kind of two main ones. Some people kind of leave their fleece liners, they can try and get them last up to seven days. Uh, we kind of say as a rule of thumb, maybe every three days. Um, so, but you can kind of make them last a little bit longer with some little tips. Um, we do have another video on that one explaining a bit more into detail. But for now, I will just kind of say what we can add pee pads in high traffic areas. Um, that helps obviously with more absorbent. You can change the layout of your cages. So there's two different ways to change the kind of layout. You can move the shelters around. Once again, high traffic areas, you can just kind of pop to different parts of the cage. If you can't move the shelters, we say changing the orientation of the actual fleece liners. So if they're kind of laying out one way, like kind of like this, you can just whoop, the other way again. So it changes, adds a little bit more to it. Um, also, we recommend air drying your fleece liners as much as possible. So if at any point that your guinea pigs are kind of, you want to snuggle them or they want to go out for a run outside or something like that, um, at that point, it's good to take your fleece liners out. You can brush it down a little bit first, hang it up, preferably outside or somewhere where it can just kind of get maybe an hour at most. <laughs> How to keep your fleece liners in top condition. So obviously with fleece liners, we have the kind of risk of detergent buildup. Um, less common in padded ones because you can obviously wash them the whole way through. Um, so we want to try and avoid that. So we actually have three little tips that we can try and give you to try and avoid the buildup of detergent. Um, so one of them is to keep your washing machine clean. Uh, every once in a while, you can actually run an empty cycle just to kind of make sure that it's definitely clean. But obviously we do that with other clothes things as well. So that's a good one to get the habit of doing. Um, two, like before in the kind of other one, it's good to just air dry as much as possible, especially when you've washed it. Um, do not tumble dry them or anything like that. So the best way is to air dry them so they can dry all the way through. And number three, we have try not to change up the entire 
set up of the cage in one go. So if you try and do that and replace everything in one go, guinea pigs like to leave their scent marks everywhere so they know that they're somewhere familiar. Um, if you do that, they'll pee everywhere and you'll have more washing to do. So it's good to just kind of take something, maybe a pee pad that they've had before, just so they have a familiar scent around them. So they're the top three things that we think that you can do to keep your washing machine in good condition and also your fleece liners. Do I need to put anything under my fleece liners? So it's not really necessary. Um, most fleece liners are very absorbent enough, so you wouldn't have to do it. Um, obviously, thicker the better, so you don't get any leaks or anything like that. Uh, if you do get any small leaks, it's not a problem, that's absolutely fine. So, but if you do want absolutely no leaks, anything at all, you are more than welcome to put a towel or any pee pads underneath the fleece liners. But as we say here at Cavi, it's not really rec um, necessary. How long do fleece liners last? So if you have a good quality fleece liner, like Cavu, <laughs> Uh, then it might actually last you forever um, but kind of we'll usually say maybe about two years kind of as a kind of expectation kind of thing but fleece liner ones you know, if they're really good quality they will last you a super duper long time how many fleece liners do you need so um, at a kind of recommended time we usually say about three sets um, that way you've always kind of got one spare or one clean depending on kind of the cycle that you'll do it So depending on your washing machine, but we recommend having three uh, that way It's just kind of easier to take out replace wash kind of thing. So you've always got a cycle How much money will I save tons no, <laughs> okay, so it's actually calculated that every single year you will save up to about 400 pounds uh, That's kind of with fleece liners versus traditional kind of bedding uh, We do have a bit on our website about that as well It's a little blog so have a little research for that one But yes up to 400 pounds, which is like, you know nearly a holiday Which temperature should I wash my fleece liners at? So we recommend between 30 and 40 degrees. Uh, we usually really push for 30 degrees because obviously it's a lot eco-friendlier, it's healthier for our planet, and it's also potentially more healthier for our fleece liners. Uh, but if you have to do it at 40 degrees, it's still effectively fine. You can obviously, but we really do push for 30 degrees. Can I tumble dry my fleece liners? No. No, no, <laughs> it's not recommended. Um, don't put your uh, fleece liners in a tumble dryer, uh, air dry them at best. So please do not tumble dry them. It's not, not recommended. Can I wash my fleece liners and my clothes in the same washing machine together? So yes, you can, but just take some precautions. So the way I'm talking about this is like mean you can do your fleece liners in the same washing machine and then later on you can do your clothes as well. So not mixing together. But yes, you can, but here are some precautions. So making sure that you kind of uh, sweeped off all the hay and the poop and any excess things that you've got left on there. So just making sure that it's kind of as clean as possible before going in. Uh, you can then place it into either a laundry bag or a pillowcase. We have laundry bags. <laughs> so if you're thinking about putting your fleece liners into one of the laundry bags, we do sell them over here at Cavi. Definitely worth recommended doing. So you can place those in there. Um, you can also use a fabric cleanser or a disinfectant along with your normal washing powder. Um, so kind of you can just get them in supermarkets and things like that. So they can just be put in with it. And then whoop, if you're thinking as well, oh, there might be some leftover ha um, hair or this or that. And you're really kind of thinking, oh, I've desperately need to kind of keep it clean. Then you can even run an empty cycle as well after you've done the um, fleece liners just to kind of make sure that everything's washed out. So they're the kind of main things for that one. Do I need to wash fleece liners before using them? Yes, you do. So <laughs> uh, most fabric kind of needs to be broken or so like the break that you get kind of thing. So there's more absorbent material uh, to be used afterwards. So it increases the absorbent uh, abilities after breaking it in per se. So maybe what, maybe one wash, maybe two washes. Um, but yes, it does need to be washed before you absolutely use them. My guinea pig is wet, is that a problem? So guinea pigs that sleep in the same place will also tend to pee in the same place. So it's not necessarily a problem, so there's no reason to panic, but there are ways to solve it. So um, you can just change the layout of the cage. You can kind of, uh, like previously before, just kind of swap the, um, 
fleece liners around, so there's kind of a dry spot too. Um, if they're super duper wet, you can actually give them a little bath, wipe them dry afterwards, they'll be absolutely fine. So just change the layout of the things um, like that. So it's not actually a problem. So please don't panic if your guinea pig is wet. Are fleece liners too hot in the summer? So it depends on what type of fabric that you've gone for for your fleece liners. Um, as you can see here, we've actually got two different ones. So on here, we've got a kind of, um, they're both fleece topped, but there's more in a way. It's a bit more thickness. There's a little more hairs on this one. So it's really fleecy on top and on the bottom. This one's kind of got, yes, it's still fleece, but it's not as kind of thick. Um, so two different ones that we kind of do here as well. So it depends on what type of fabric that you're after. Can I use my fleece liners outside? Uh, no, <laughs> uh, it's not recommended that you do this. Um, if you lay them on the ground, it's been a bit damp in the morning or the night before or something, they could get damp and wet. Uh, and we wanna try and keep it as dry as possible. So it's not recommended that you use your fleece liners outside. How do I remove hair from my fleece liners? So if you wanna remove any hair or hay or anything like that, you can actually just kind of pick them up and just shake them really rigorously outside or anything. Um, but if you don't, if it's raining outside or something, you can actually just use a vacuum and just kind of vacuum it out. It'll be absolutely fine. How do I wash my guinea pig fleece liners? So the first thing you're gonna do, like I've done here, is just sweep off all the excess hay and poop and hair as much as you can. You can try and sweep it up, shake it off, or even vacuum it all up, but just try and get it as clean as possible before you move on to the next step, which is placing your fleece liner into a laundry bag. So we actually have some of these over at Cavi uh, laundry bags. So anything that you actually can't see left on there, any hairs, any excess poop or hay, like I said before, is still remaining on the fleece liner. You can place it inside the laundry bag and it won't actually leave the laundry bag. It will stay in there and keep your washing machine safe as well. And that way when you kind of place any more clothes or any of your normal washing, um, it won't kind of interfere with that as well. So let's do that. Woohoo! Cool. So we're just going to place that one just inside there. Whee! And it'll be nice and securely done up too because it also has a zip. <laughs> Ta da! Let's get washing. So go to your washing machine. <laughs> That's your next step. And we're just going to use a normal kind of detergent that you'll usually use with your clothes. Um, we're not going to use a lot. Less is more because you don't want to cause any blockage or anything like that. So we're just going to go by putting the detergent in. Like I said, remember that less is more. So you really don't need a lot at all. Whoop, there we go. So I'm just going to pull that in the actual normal one. So you just open that one up. That smells amazing. Um, remembering to just kind of use things that are uh, not super strong smelling, um, don't like artificial strong smells. You can kind of get odorless or very small scented ones if you can or naturally scented. Um, and we can just kind of go ahead get the bag from before and just put it inside. So just remembering not to kind of overload your washing machine. Uh, the more you kind of overload it, the less it will kind of clean through. So just make sure for that one. We'll close that one tight. And then we're gonna go on to what you can add next is the actual disinfectant, so fabric disinfectant or just a cleanser in general. Um, this is gonna go where your fabric conditioner would usually go in the end there as well. And once again, weep, just a tiny amount for that one as well. That's gonna go in the end. So remembering not to use any bleach, we recommend not using bleach at all. We'll close that one, turn it on, and we're just going to go down to 30, uh, 30 degrees. We recommend 30 degrees, uh, easier on the planet, easier on the fleece liners, but if it's super, super filthy and you think, oh my gosh, no, this needs a really good thorough cleaning, then go for 40, but we're going to go for 30 today. So there we go, set it to 30, everything's in, it's in there as well, so you can just get it started then. And off it goes. Once it is done, you then have to line dry it. Please don't tumble dry it. We really don't recommend that. But just chuck it on the line. Once it's dry, we can reuse it again. That's it for today, guys. That's our kind of video. That's our ultimate, the really ultimate fleece liner guide. So uh, if there's any questions that we have missed out, please do write them in the comments. We'll be happy to answer them. But hopefully that's as much information as you need for fleece liners to kind of make up your decision whether to swap or not. Um, we also have them available on our website, so please do have a look if you are interested. The link will be in the description box below. There's also CNC cages. But the only thing that's not for sale are our guinea pigs. They're ours and we love them, so. <laughs>
<laughs> thank you so so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe um like i said before websites in the description box follow us over on instagram as well and hopefully i'll see you all next time bye